Well, hello folks, how are you? Um, <laughs> a wee day late. Let me see if there's some sort of soft focus on that, um, on that uh, camera there. I don't know what's happening. Uh, anyway, not to worry. Um, nice to see you all and uh, sorry about the delay. Um, yeah, I got a, we got a late Saturday, which I'm not used to these days. Uh, um, yeah, uh, you know, I'm not used to sitting up late. Uh, but we sat up until about three in the morning. It's kind of funny when you're in your own surroundings, when you sit or you lie in bed at three in the morning and you're maybe watching a bit of YouTube or listening to some uh, some music or... Um, but uh, yeah, it's different when you're uh, when you're out visiting and so that was interesting. Uh, and we had a good laugh actually, <laughs> which is the reason why is the first song that I'm going to do, because uh, we had a uh, my brother, uh, my wee brother and I had a bit of a laugh about it. The because I did it last week uh, on the vlog and I didn't do a word uh, right in it, and which is a complete disgrace. Although it was relatively funny um that uh uh oh i've started uh, st st still water when i'm doing the podcast so that i'm not burping all the time don't have to listen to me burp anyway uh yeah so uh <laughs> i um made a bit of an arse of it uh so i thought i would do it uh this week again just to prove that uh that the lyrics are important to songs uh because uh, there are some people that uh, don't really care about it, uh, but I do. Uh, and certainly my brother does, because he was laughing away at me whilst he was making the dinner for his family. I've got some lovely wee birds visiting me on this Monday. And my little bird feeder sits out there, but if you move too much, fly away and uh, lovely wee things, all different kinds of things. And I've got a little uh, a little book down there that tells me what they are that I got with my bird feeder. So this is apologies to the boss. Is a <laughs> Can't even get the first lyric right. <laughs> Because I've got in my head that there's a spot, but it's there's a place. I don't know why I keep doing that. Start again. There's a place on a blank stretch of road. Nobody travels. Nobody goes. And the best man says the the 
dusty screen door of the moonlight hotel. Last night I dreamed of you, my lover. The wind blew through the window and blew off the covers of my lonely bed. I woke for something you said. Better to have loved you, yes. better to have loved. As I drove in the woods, a chilling breeze and leaves tumbled from the sky and So black as I backtracked to the moonlight tail. She was boarded up and gone like an old summer song, nothing but an empty shell. Pulled in and stopped to my old spot Pulled a bottle of jacket of a paper bag Pour one for me and one for you as well And it was one more shot Poured out in the parking lot To the moonlight hotel What a song. Uh, what what rain. This is on a Monday. Um, rain has never stopped. Um, uh, and thus the uh, the soft focus. Is, is that a soft focus or is it just me? Yeah, I think it's just me. Which is a bit spooky. Yeah, so uh, the day off yesterday. Um, what have we been up to? Haven't been up to much. Um just sort of uh, trying to rekindle the fires in the music business uh, as everything else sort of gets back to life um, then uh, our industry is the one industry that, that uh, is really suffering I think um, well there's no thinking about it it is um, but I do think it will come back and I've got, uh, I've got um, much faith in um, and uh, where we're going and uh, where the people in the medicine are going to uh, to bring stuff back um, and find a vaccine for this. But uh, I personally hadn't planned on playing until next year, although I've got a couple of gigs this side of the year. I don't know if they'll survive. I don't know if the, uh, if the um, social distancing, or distancing, however you pronounce that, will be enough. Um, uh, uh, you know, to 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 merit people putting on gigs because obviously you need bottoms on seats. Watched a wee bit of uh, Graham Clark yesterday from Wet Wet Wet, who does a kind of Sunday social, um, and he was talking about that about the that they they're really missing the gigs and um, and of course they are. You know, they've got the new singer and they're desperate to go out. I think again, I was talking to the other Graham Graham Duffin uh, on last week, and he was talking about. Uh, that the Australian tour has now been pushed back to to next year. So that's kind of the way it is. Uh, and so meantime, I'm uh, working on uh, uh, new songs. Um, uh, Joe and I are looking at songs for Caesar. Joe's coming up in a couple of weeks, um, which is great. It allows us to get tour in. And um, and I'm working on some of my own songs, uh, a couple of new ideas that are coming. Uh, one that I think is really lovely, um, but uh, that'll be up to you guys to, to to decide that. But yeah, so you're getting closer and closer to to uh, to new uh, to new songs and potentially uh, a new record. Uh, I just wanted to say that I've been in touch with because uh, uh, someone asked me about uh, slow commotion, which has been out of um, uh, out of stock. 
so that's coming back in. Um, so yeah, that's happening. Um, so I hope that uh, clears things up, Mark, uh, for uh, uh, the Moonlight Hotel. What a song! Um, and uh, I'm going to do this wee song as a request. A few people have written in for requests. Not many of you, you shower of bastards. Um, I think you've deserted me now. Oh, the, 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 that's it. It's all over. The COVID's over. Never mind him. He was average anyway. But, um... Michael wrote to me for to play Dancing Shoes for his wife, uh, Eileen, who, it's her favourite song. Um, so... So this is for you, Eileen, Dancing Shoes. Dancing Shoes I'm gonna wear my dancing shoes I'm gonna dance right up next to you In my dancing shoes Loving you I spent a long time loving you Been cheating and lying just to be with you in my dancing shoes. Now I'm finding out what this dancing's all about, and I'll take a step if you take two. I'm stepping out in my shoes tonight I'll be down on the floor before the night is through In my dancing shoes There's no denying that I'm a prisoner to you You hold the crown, but there's no winning with you In my dancing shoes Holy Moses, what's going on? Try that again Holy Moses, what's going on? Better I'm out of time with this song My, oh my, just let me be Let me be Let me be Whoa, let me be Let me be
amazing how quickly you go out of practice when you're not playing. A bit like Andy Murray, you know. Same thing. Um, the uh, yeah, so um, dancing shoes, uh, Eileen. There you go. I hope you liked it, even with the mistake, Eileen. Um, yeah, so uh, it's been pretty mental um, trying to, uh, as I say, trying to work out gigs and, and what you're going to do next, and what you're not. More importantly, what you're not going to do. Uh, but we we move on, and we move on, and. Uh, I just want to say that it's it's been really good. We're still getting bikes, uh, and I want to thank everyone again, especially for the bikes. Uh, I'm speaking to Alan, who I give the bikes to this week, and I've got nine bikes out in the garage, so they're all going to find new homes. There's a brand new bike out there, and I picked up a lovely little bike. Thank you to Dave, my friend Dave, uh, over uh, uh, I can't I can never remember the name of the village, but towards East Kilbride. Um, and uh, over the Fenwick Hills, I can, I can, I, f for the life of me, I can never remember the name of it. Um, and uh, so, thank you for that. That was a great little bike, lovely girl's bike. Uh, and that'll find a, a good home. So, please, 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 uh, if you've got any other bikes, don't go to any trouble. I'm happy to come pick them up. Uh, happy to uh, uh, to pass them on to kids that need them. Um, certainly wouldn't be going out on a bike today anyway uh, uh, pissing from the heavens uh, if you're in wherever you are in the world uh, I hope the weather is better today but anyway it's good the ducks need it and uh, so do the plants and my potatoes out there which are due to be picked uh, any day now so yeah thanks for uh, the bikes and as I say I'm still for them uh, still if you can give to uh, the food bank that would be great and uh, and just another uh, uh, I posted off another uh, uh, last week two lyrics um, uh, I think I mentioned that I'm doing handwritten lyrics during this kind of uh, lean period of uh, of work so if you would like some personalized uh, hand lyrics uh, of one of my songs um, with any sort of special dedication on it then that's what I'm punting uh, during this time. Uh, uh, so you can write to me at jjgilmore at gmail.com. We'll put that address uh, on the post. Uh, so yeah, if you want that, then please uh, uh, then please let us know. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to read you a, a little poem. Um, if anyone. Uh, uh, um, hasn't her, uh, hasn't seen or heard this book it's a brilliant book uh, i'll take i'll give you uh, as always i display the name of the book uh, after the poem so here's today's poem it's a poem called the present and it's by billy collins much has been said about being in the present it's the place to be according to the gurus like the latest club on the downtown scene but no one it seems is able to give you directions it doesn't seem desirable or even possible to wake up every morning and begin leaping from one second into the next until you fall exhausted into the bed. Plus, there'd be no past, with so many scenes to savour and regret, and no future, the place you will die but not before flying around with a jetpack. The trouble with the present is that it's always in a state of vanishing. Take the second it takes to end this sentence with a period already gone what about the moment that exists between banging your thumb with a hammer and realizing you're in a whole lot of pain what about the one that occurs after you hear the punchline but before you get the joke is that where the wise men want us to live in that interesting tick the tiny slot that occurs after you have spent hours searching downtown for that new club and just before you give up and head back home there we go, The Present by Billy Collins. And our dear friend, William Seacart says, this poem is a condition for guilt at not living in the moment, also suitable for feelings of inadequacy, self-recrimination, stress and worrying. I, like Billy Collins' poem, The Present, 
because it scores something not all that all not all that different to the advice that I often give to my poetry pharmacy and have given elsewhere in this very book. See Failure to Live in the Moment, page 48 and 49. You have to buy the book for that. It finds a very assuming way of saying something quite important that the po-faced seriousness of our modern obsession and wealth and emotional balance is not the only way to live. We can be happy without making an effort to live in the moment or be mindful or do any of those things we all feel a buzz of guilt about ignoring. Of course, we could all benefit from living in the moment more than we do, but it is also true that to treat the present as anything more than a second home, however frequently visited, would be a catastrophe. As with anything else in the world, living in the moment is only useful in moderation. What's more, allowing ourselves to get caught up in the cultural panic about how we should live, how we should think, and how often and how deeply we should breathe can lead to more misery than well-practiced mindfulness ever could solve. If living in the moment doesn't suit you, if it doesn't make sense for you, don't do it. Don't feel obliged to change your interior life to suit the faddish dictates of the self-help industry. Although there is real value in living in the moment, there is also real value in living how you want to live and accepting the parts of yourself you can't change. If you're a fretter or a daydreamer or a reminiscer, celebrate it. Be yourself. That's the best advice any guru can give you. And I wholeheartedly agree. Um, the Poetry Pharmacy by William C. Cart. There we go. That is a wonderful book. Thank you, Joseph Donnelly, who passed that on to me. And I, I read it not every day these days, but regularly. I flip through pages. Um, it's lovely. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, that's uh, it's great advice. I, I can't go any further than that. Than, than, uh, than uh, it's just wonderful advice for your mental health and to keep yourself better. Um, I've had a few emails uh, uh, from uh, people uh, with a few requests, and this is another request that came in. I'm going to play this on guitar, although I wrote it on piano. Sometimes it's nice to flip it around. Um, uh. Need to work it out. <laughs> somewhere. So yeah, this is, uh, who asked? For, yeah, Alan and Linda uh, uh, asked for this song. I'm glad you're starting to listen to, uh, to Dees, Alan. Um, uh, he had written in to say that he'd never uh, really listened to Dees much. Uh, it's an album that I'm that I'm re I was really happy with, and I'm really happy with. And the great Shona Aitken is on there playing some beautiful violin. Uh, Phil Kane, of course, playing his wonderful piano. Uh, there's a uh, fantastic cello player uh, called Sarah Ayub, um, and uh, some Ulian pipes that were played by. Um, Oh, I'm going to forget his name now. Uh, I can't remember. You'll have to look at the album. Or look at it online. Apologies for not remembering that. That's terrible. Every star fell from the sky To show the love Everybody else could see why 
dream The dream came true I fall asleep Dream of you I want to dream Every time I hear that bell, every time, no matter where I roam, every sight there is, every sound of Glasgow town, my. to dream my life away with you and as I walk down the river's edge remember the things we said the thoughts keep running Every sight there is, and every sound of Glasgow town, my home. Every star fell from the sky to show the love I have inside. Everybody else could see our love. Oh, everybody else could see. The, um, I'm sitting watching uh, actually as I'm singing that almost being soothed by the little birds that are flying around and, and they're a wee bit annoyed that I'm here uh, because the perch that I feed them on is just there and I usually sit in the red couch and, uh, and watch them and don't move very much to so I don't disturb them while they're eating but so whilst I'm here doing my little vlog for you folks they're getting a wee tad annoyed which is lovely <laughs> Uh, getting a wee bit sick of it. Uh, I was talking to somebody the other day and we were talking about reforming, bands reforming. Uh, see, there's a wee bird there and it's just flew away. She, he or she's flown away. Um, and uh, I was talking about that I had an offer to play last year uh, um, with the silencers. Um, um, with a, an offer for the silencers, if you like. Uh, from a guy in Spain who obviously didn't know that the or or um, he just wanted a, a trip down memory lane uh, and I said that, uh, it wasn't for me um, uh, that I don't play with the silencers anymore uh, as much as I loved it and um, but uh, I could certainly we could uh, do uh, a show for him, myself and Joe and uh, Caesar and and throw in a couple of si silencer songs for, for nostalgias, but um, I also passed on Jimmy's number to him in case he wanted uh, someone that would do silencer songs all night, and of course that's what Jimmy does. Um, 
and uh, so it's interesting about the the reforming of bands and will they won't they they'll never reform they will reform and um but it just brought it brought to mind how much progress that you make uh, in your own life or how 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 you move forward uh, as a writer uh, as a solo writer and also with Joe and I as uh, as co- uh, combining uh, our skills um along with the the great Stuart uh, McLeod who who has been really instrumental in uh, the Caesar sound and um it just kind of brought back um uh, a lot of great memories and a, a lot of great stories um uh and i just share a couple of them with you we were um we were doing this uh we did this tv show uh, sorry radio show in france and it was a kind of it's a funny thing it's like a uh it's a t a radio show but with a live audience oh there's a beautiful wee bird on there now it's just the colors are incredible um and yeah, so it was um it was a pu- it was it was a really interesting show and it was one of the big it could have been Radio France uh, but I remember going into the studios and it was massive I guess it was a bit like the BBC and the BBC have started doing those sort of sessions haven't they from live from their studios and made a veil and stuff and um but this was a massive like a theatre um and you went in and there was a live audience there and, and you would sing to the live audience it, sometimes it would be half playback some which means the instrumentation is is re- pre-recorded but there's a live vocal um and we would do it you know reluctantly because all musicians want to play live but if you were the singer in the band nine times out of ten you got to do your thing live um and uh we would d- the first time we did it we had this girl wailing away in the next dressing room and she was obviously one of the other performers and uh, and it was this kind of <laughs> just just uh, livening up uh, and uh, we had no idea uh, what was going on but we were like cheeky boys from Lanarkshire and we were um, we were shouting oh shut up uh, through the uh, through the the, the th- Thin walls, uh, you know. Oh, shut up, you know. And um, anyway, uh, when we got out to the stage area, it was our turn to go on, and we did our couple of songs and come back to the dressing room, and then they introduced her, and I forgot her name now. Um, uh, but you'll know her. Uh, she's <laughs> wailing away. Ah, oh, shut up. Uh, and she could obviously hear us being really cheeky, um, and uh, I don't don't know why I can't remember her name. That's great, isn't it? Telling the story, and you can't remember. It's even more fun that you can't that you can't remember her name because that's how much you didn't really like her music. But you know, she did the theme tune for the Titanic. He Uh, anyway she was wailing away at that uh, i don't think she was wailing away at that song this was before that song made her massive um and uh she uh, uh so she got told to shut it by us because we were the cheeky sort of lanarkshire boys but the same sort of setup and it could have been the same show a few years later uh th- th- this girl was up there singing she was singing a song that we didn't know uh and uh we made a reference to how much she looked like bonnie tyler so we thought she was like a french tribute act uh of of bonnie tyler so we we nicknamed her tiny boiler (laughs) she was just a wee thing which should have been a giveaway uh but we were all so caught up in their own importance that we just thought oh it's somebody doing a uh, it must have been a song that she sang then, actually. Maybe it was a song that she sang, if I remember the story correctly. Because we must have recognised it a little bit. Maybe it was, I was lost in France, or something like that, which makes c- kind of sense for it. Anyway, it was probably, I'm now recollecting the story a bit better, it was probably uh, uh, a, a song that she uh, that, uh, that we would have known her to do, and here was this French, in our opinion, tribute act covering it. Uh, anyway, we were laughing and joking, and uh, 
uh, and uh, with her and stuff. And then we um, we got to the kind of there was a kind of green room kind of reception room afterwards, and 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 this tiny boiler turned around and said, "Oh, I really enjoyed that song of yours." <laughs> terrible Welsh accent if there's anyone from Wales listening and it was her it was fucking body Tyler and we had been calling her tiny boiler and and uh, I think we told her I, I probably told her because it was a cheeky little bugger uh, but there's there she was um, those were the kind of people you bumped into um, there's another great uh, show uh, and some of it you can see on YouTube if you uh, um, if you put I, I've put some of them up before uh, Taratata Taratata, which is a French sort of, uh, a bit like the Jules Holland show. Um, and uh, we did that with Terms Trent Darby, and that's worth a look. Uh, and uh, it's worth a look because some of the stories in between it all were funnier than than the actual uh, the actual interview where, where Terms Trent Darby declares that he doesn't know who the silencers are uh, and then proceeds to take the piss out of, uh, uh, of Jimmy and I, uh, pretending that he knew where Coat Bridge was. Um, uh, I'm not sure that, I want to say that Jimmy fell for it, we probably, because that sounds better, doesn't it? But we probably both fell for it. Um, but anyway, he uh, he uh, he sort of said, oh, you guys are, he, he made a big sort of fuss about, um, so where are you guys from? You, you from Scotland? And we were like, yeah, 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 we're from Scotland. And where are Bells? And, Ach, you probably won't know it. It's a, it's a town close to Glasgow. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, wh whereabouts? We were like, ah, oh, it's a place called Coat Bridge. You guys are from Coat Bridge? And I don't know if it was Jimmy that fit. I, I want to say Jimmy fell for it. I probably did too. But fuck it, let's say Jimmy fell for it. And um, and he went, oh, yeah, yeah, Coat Bridge. Yeah, do, do you know it? And he went, get the fuck out of here. Uh, of course, I want to tell it was Jimmy that made the mistake because it's better if you didn't get caught, but it was probably me that got caught doing it. Oh, really? Turns, oh, yeah, Coat Bridge, do you know what? Yeah, I'm from Sunnyside. Uh, <laughs> turns Trent Darby. Coat Bridge, you guys are from Coat Bridge. So th those are the kind of daft things that happened uh, uh, um, and the people that you bumped into at festivals and stuff. Um, and I'll try and remember some of those wee stories as we, as we go along uh, with, with the, the weekly vlog. Um, uh, what else did I want to say? Uh, yeah, I kind of think that's that that's it. I, I, the other thing is just about the food banks. I mean, I know things are beginning to calm down a little bit. and But if you can, just give a little bit to the food bank. or, or I'm doing a gig uh, on... I believe it's Thursday or Friday. You'll see it on my YouTube channel uh, or on my uh, Facebook page uh, and on my Twitter and uh, and Instagram account. But it's for um, it's for a uh, refugee, which is the Glasgow charity for uh, to help the refugees out in Glasgow, which I think is a brilliant thing. Uh, and um, uh, there's a great guy, Alan who does uh, sound in the suburbs and it's Alan that, 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 that along with Ref Ouija, uh the charity uh, are putting this thing on. It's got Jill Jackson and um, you've probably seen it uh, uh, a band called The Kennedys I think or, or, I can't remember um, and um, uh, it's got uh, uh, Adriana uh, is playing there too uh, pardon me um so yeah, I think e e e each artist, there's a brilliant uh, poet is coming to do it as well. She's a woman that worked with Michael Mara. I mean, anyone that's had the pleasure of working with Michael Mara have my utmost admiration. I did a show many years ago with Michael Mara uh, in uh, Dundee uh, when the Timex factory had uh, had pulled out, were pulling out of Dundee uh, and basically took the piss of all their employees. And Michael... Um, uh, was instrumental in putting a gig together and, and I played it um, alongside uh, I think Pat and Greg from Hue and Cry and we uh, I, I, I think I drove Pat up there uh, and um, I had the joy of, of singing uh, Hamish um, with uh, Michael Mara and it was uh, it was one of the highlights of my music career because I, I've always been a massive admirer uh, of Michael Mara and indeed, uh, Dundee's contribution to music, they've, they've always produced brilliant uh, music bands. 
I think I remember saying to you one time before that I approached, I didn't approach, I just voiced my opinion of, of how uh, Coat Bridge could be a uh, Coat Bridge could be a good documentary for all the, the you know the artists and and people that had uh, that had come out of it and people like Mark Mark Miller and Hugh and Cry and the McKennas and the Big Dish and um, obviously the Silencers, um, you know. And uh, I remember speaking to someone about it and they said that they had spoken briefly to somebody about it in the BBC and they had said, yeah, every town's got a story like that. And it's true because Dundee's got the exact same thing with like Hollywood actors like Brian Cox and you know and uh, and obviously Danny Wilson and and uh, Michael Mara and, and uh, you know and and, uh, and those guys uh, I think there's a guy f one of the guys from Super Tramp is from Dundee I think two or one of the guys from the Average White Brat band is from Dundee um, so you have this real thing everywhere it's a bit like down here these days you know um i never really knew many airshire bands but you have like biffy clyro now and obviously in the past you had the fantastic trash can sinatras and eddie reader and um and forgive me if i'm missing uh, any other airshire great artists out the um uh i think you've got sydney divine that lives in airshire right now there's us there's there's well, I'm laughing at him or, or my brother and that's we, we say that all the time that you can have a cheeky snigger at someone like Sidney Devine it sells probably a hundred times as many concert tickets over a year as I ever do so Sidney going to post us your magic um, anyway uh, I think well, there's two or three songs there's a wee update uh, Caesar are doing well you've had a wee update on them if you'd like some lyrics, please uh, write to me. I'll happily personalise them for you. It could be a wee gift for someone. That's my second plug for the lyrics. Uh, the Food Bank, The Bikes, uh, as you know, and uh, any other songs that, that, that you would like played. Um, and uh, um, and we'll keep, I'll keep you posted on, on what's happening. Um, and uh, I will also get on board with the slow commotion I, I want to get that back uh, into uh, you know into the shop and back into production so i'll look to do that i'll speak to uh, to um paul casey the singer songwriter in ireland who's who's going to do the the back end of that for me so we can get it ready to be reproduced uh, and i want to especially say thank you to uh oliver and france who has very very kindly sold me back uh, or in the process of selling me back my old Telecaster that's been through with uh, with me all throughout my Silencers career and uh, my JJ Gilmore career um, and, and played a big part in my life and I sold it a few years ago and, um, and um, I didn't regret selling it but I missed it, I missed it. Um, and uh, uh, so it's, it's winging, it's, it's, it'll be soon winging its way back to to hear in Ayrshire, uh, I'll show I'll I'll show you it when it arrives, but uh, I think that's it. Thanks very much, uh, everybody is well. It seems that everybody's well. Uh, any more requests? Just get them in to me. Um, I haven't really discussed the Pricks Bridge. Imagine forgetting Pricks Bridge. Pricks Bridge is quiet at the moment, and it's also the trees are growing over it, and and because uh, obviously the summer's in. There's like today, there's lots of rain. But there's been very little activity on Pricks Bridge. Um, the foxes are really growing up. Uh, they're really fast now. You don't see them as often. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I think that's that's it. I'm trying to think what else. There's no, been no Largs train as when I've been speaking to you. So um, I don't know whether what's happened. From the people from Largs, maybe they've closed Largs down. Um, but there you go. So um, yeah, that's that's the update. Pricks Bridge is quiet. Um, hello to wherever you are. Uh, always to my cousins uh, uh, in Canada and stuff. It's really great that you get the opportunity to do this to tune into them. So anyway, lots of love, um, people of Largs. You've missed out. You've missed it. You, you know, you, you, you just weren't there. Um, anyway, have a good day. 
don't go out there if you're in the uh, west of west coast of Scotland because it is pissing from the heavens. So, toodoo.